Good nutrient management is important to reduce losses from leaching of nitrates, runoff of phosphates or volatilization of ammonia to air. These nutrient losses can harm both the water environment and habitat sensitive to air quality and are unnecessary costs for the farm business. Like many of the rivers around the UK, the River Itchen, which is a rare chalk stream habitat of national and international importance, faces the challenges of declining water quality. Many of those nutrients used regularly in farming, such as nitrates, phosphates and ammonia, occur naturally in the environment and are vital for healthy functioning habitats. However, if natural levels of nitrate and phosphate are exceeded, then water quality can be reduced. Targeted application of nutrients according to crop and soil requirements, as on West Stoke Farm, can reduce the risk of excess nutrients being lost to the environment and causing problems. West Oaks Farm, we're farming about uh, 1,400 hectares. We're leaf marked and we grow wheat, barley, oilseed rape and oats for the Jordan's Farm partnership. We're mostly on the chalk downland here, but we do have one or two bits of clay cap. We've been concentrating on our nutrient efficiency for the last five or six years, really trying to do as much as we're doing at least now and using less by really targeting our applications of all sorts of elements. We're using a number of strategies, but a lot of it revolves around testing. We're soil sampling much more often than we used to, and we are tissue testing throughout the growing season. And we're also doing a grain analysis as well at post harvest. And that's trying to give us a picture through the season and seeing where we may be wasting some nutrients and other places where we might be deficient. And as a result, not getting the best of those that we are using as well. Nitrogen will be the nutrient we probably are able to manipulate most. We start by trying to find out what we have in the soil. So we'll measure soil N in November, October, towards the end of the autumn. And then we'll do it again in late February, early March, before we're planting or just before things start to grow. Because there can be quite a difference, especially where we have a difference between a stubble only field, a field with a crop in, and then a field with a cover crop, which will have many more roots and hangs on to nutrients much, much better. Where we've had lots of rainfall, especially last year, the cover crops are really holding on to the end. In some cases, nearly 80% of what was there in November can be as little as 30% on just stubble. So there is free nitrogen that otherwise is going down the drain and could cause a problem with groundwater. We'll tailor our nitrogen applications through the spring, and that's done using satellite technology, where we will get a biomass picture of what the field looks like at a certain time. And these are taken very often, so we can have a, a map almost up to the moment that we are applying. Sometimes we don't need to vary the application at all. We might, on some chalkier brows or those sort of places that aren't so good or slightly shaded, something like that, or a bit of rabbit damage, we might want to apply a little bit more. The program where we get satellite images from are transformed into an application map, transferred onto a USB stick, and goes into the tractor and away you go. And that will happen through the season and trying to manipulate us to a point where we've got as even a crop as we can and one that is working with the yield models. Final piece in the jigsaw that makes us see whether what we've done has worked is the grain nutrients analysis. And sometimes we'll find that we have over applied something which has not been used. It's still a too high a level in the grain, but has had no effect on yield or quality. So that's where we're beginning to learn that we can use less and still do more. We set out with the aim to reduce our nutrient use by 20% when we started this project. We're now actually at about 15, and our yields are certainly not less than they were. And I anticipate that in fact, in the next few years, we should reach our 20% target and then get even better than that. Obviously that's great for the bottom line, it's great for the margin, and it's also great for the environment. Catchment sensitive farming can offer advice on a range of practices that can reduce the risk of nutrient leaching and can provide free advice and support to farmers to improve water and air quality in priority areas. See the CSF web pages and contact your local CSF officer for further information and to access our practical on farm case studies about efficient nutrient use and specialist advice. Both the DEFRA COGAP document for reducing ammonia emissions and AHDB's nutrient management guides are both thorough and easy to read documents. LEAF's Simply Sustainable Water Booklet is also an excellent resource for farmers looking to manage water on and off their land.